I'm here looking at the new Samsung NX200 compact camera system. And when I say compact, I really do mean it. This is the smallest system camera Samsung has produced to date. And it's one of the smallest system cameras we've ever seen. So this is the new NX200 in my right hand here. And you can see it's certainly light, it's certainly slim. But when you take out the older camera, which is the NX100, you can see just how much Samsung have slimmed down between the two models. Now, to keep the model this slim, there have been some sacrifices. For example, there's no built-in flash. Instead, Samsung are providing a very small compact flash which you attach to the hot shoe on top. Another sacrifice, no viewfinder on this camera. So what Samsung have got instead is a 3-inch AMOLED screen. Now, OLED, which is Organic Light Emitting Diode, is a technology which is much brighter and sharper than traditional LCD screens. And it tends to be a little bit easier to see in bright sunlight. So even without a viewfinder, you're looking at a camera here which has got the kind of screen you can use at difficult angles because it's got that good viewing angle on the OLED screen. Now one thing that hasn't been sacrificed in the name of size is the image sensor inside this camera. What's really impressive is that with this camera, you get a full APS-C sized image sensor. That's the same size of sensor that you'll get in a consumer level digital SLR. Now the benefit of a large sensor is when you're taking photographs in low light conditions. A large image sensor really helps you capture much more detail. And speaking of detail, Samsung haven't held back on the megapixels with this model. This is a 20 megapixel camera. So that's the highest megapixel count that we've ever seen on a system camera like this. Now the other thing that Samsung hasn't held back on, despite making it such a slim, compact and portable model, is the number of direct access manual control dials that you'll find on the NX200. This is particularly impressive when you consider just the sheer size of this body. Not only is there a control dial on the top of the camera, there's another rear dial, and also, you get the benefit of the new iFunction lens system. So the iFunction lenses are Samsung's new family of lenses, which are going to go along with the NX camera system. Now, the benefit with the iFunction is you get to control camera functions and change settings on the lens itself without having to use the actual controls on the body of the camera. So here I am in full manual control mode. Now, what I can do is by tapping the iFunction button, I can toggle one of the control selections. For example, here I am on shutter speed mode. Just by tapping that button once, I can then vary it by adjusting the ring around the lens. So here I am changing the shutter speed on the lens itself. I could also change the shutter speed using the dials on the actual camera body, or change the aperture on the dial on the reverse, for example, or select aperture change using the eye function button. So depending on whatever function I want to change, I can control it with the lens itself or on the camera body. Now, all those manual control adjustments mean that if you're used to using a digital SLR or you're a very hands-on photographer, you're going to find that the NX200 is a camera which has everything you need for making those sort of changes and getting exactly the kind of photos you're after. However, if you're experimenting with your pictures and you're having fun and you want to try some of the art filters or scene modes, there are plenty of options on this camera. So you can adjust for sunsets, or you can have a grainy effect. But one that I quite like is they've got this fun magic frame mode. Now, what the magic frame mode does is it sets your picture up within a frame. For example, here's one where that frame is effectively the front cover of a magazine. So whatever it is that I'm picturing gets pasted onto that magazine cover. So if you're photographing a friend who feels particularly glamorous, you can put them right on front of a magazine where they belong. Not to be left behind by Sony, who've got panoramic views on their uh, NEX system, Samsung have got a panorama function on the NX200. So to take a panoramic shot, you select panorama, and you slowly, slowly drift it across the scene, and the camera will automatically stitch together a series of photographs into one great big panoramic photo. Now, another style of taking panoramic shots you can do with this camera is by taking a vertical panorama. So what you can do is, in exactly the same mode, selecting panorama, you sweep upwards slowly, and the camera will automatically stitch together a vertical panorama. Now, this isn't a particularly interesting room to do that in, but if you imagine you're in the Sistine Chapel, then you've just created a very interesting photograph there. Another panoramic mode that they've got is 3D panorama. So with much the same technique, the camera takes a series of photos and it captures different depths. So it puts them together to make a 3D image. Unfortunately, you can't see that on this camera itself. You'll need a 3D compatible television to do that. So there's no shortage of shooting options if you're after still photos. However, Samsung have still got plenty up their sleeve with a full 1080p HD video mode. So you can capture crisp video in AVC HD using the NX200. Now, what you can't do, however, is attach an external microphone to boost the sound recording. So instead, you use a stereo microphone. 
So as you can see here in front of me, Samsung are growing the range of lenses that you can use with the NX system. Now there's going to be more coming out throughout 2011 to build from the ones of 2010. And Samsung say that all of their lenses from now on are going to have that eye function. So you can make manual adjustments using the lens itself. Now the lens I've got attached to the camera right now is the 20 to 50 millimeter kit lens. So this comes packaged with the camera. And you can see it's not a particularly chunky lens, so you've still got a fairly portable thing there. However, if you want something that you can really fit into a jacket pocket, one of the things you could consider is this 16 millimeter lens. So this one, a pancake lens as it's called, will make it a really portable option once it's put on the NX200. For our full first look impressions, check on at which.co.uk.